Our devotion for today is for the kids of our congregation. Adults are welcome too. After all, Jesus says that we must become like children if we are to be a part of the kingdom that God has prepared for us. I'm here today in the room that has my collection of children's books that I would normally be reading to the children on a Sunday morning. And kids, I am so anxious to be back in the sanctuary and sitting on the step and reading to you. But for today, I'm going to tell you about the story that you will be having from our Sunday school lesson. This comes from the Deep Blue Bible Study. And it's a story about Jesus gathering with his disciples. Just before Jesus was arrested by the soldiers, he washed his disciples' feet. This was a very unusual thing for a leader or a teacher to do. That was something that servants were meant to do. Jesus was teaching his disciples that we are to serve and care for one another. Back in Jesus' day, feet got really dirty. They didn't have nice paved roads or sidewalks, and so people were getting dirty feet as they walked about in all of the dust. If you went to someone's house for a meal, a servant would come and wash your feet. Now today, we're not all that worried about our feet getting dirty. Maybe you get your feet washed once a day as you're getting ready for bed. But right now, we're very concerned about washing our hands and making sure that we're washing our hands really well so that we can keep other people and ourselves healthy. So right now, I'm going to go into the other room and wash my hands. So you're going to come with me as we go. And, and something that maybe some of you have been doing is singing the Happy Birthday song while you've been washing your hands. And this is to help us make sure that we're washing our hands long enough for them to be really clean. But there's another song that we can sing, a song that we know from church, Jesus Loves Me. So while I wash my hands singing Jesus Loves Me, you can sing along. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. When we wash our hands really well, we are helping others and we're helping ourselves. But there's something else that we can do to help others. We can pray for them with our hands. So right now what I'd like to ask you to do is just hold up one of your hands and touch your thumb. And when you touch your thumb, you can say a prayer for the people who are closest to you. Your moms, your dads, your sisters, your brothers, your grandmas, your grandpas aunts and uncles, cousins, friends, and neighbors. Then you can touch your pointer finger and think about the community helpers that are around us. Your teachers, nurses, doctors, other people who work in the hospitals, police officers, firefighters. You can touch your tall finger and pray for the leaders of our country. Then touch your ring finger and pray for people who are sick, who are lonely or sad. And then pray for yourself when you touch your pinky finger. Being a disciple of Jesus means that we are to help one another. As we help one another, we are showing them that Jesus loves them, and so do we.